Today we're going to cover the system browser, specifically the electrical portion. We will see what it can do to help you understand your electrical distribution system, as well as maybe troubleshoot some connections you might have and find certain electrical devices or equipment. And hey everybody, this is Rob. Let's get right into it. So here we are in our electrical tutorial model that we've been working on. And we have a small electrical distribution set up in here. You can see in the electrical room we have a main distribution board, a few panels, a meter center. And then over here in the generator room we have a generator, a transfer switch, and an emergency panel E. So we have a small electrical distribution system. But this is good enough to show the helpful benefits of the system browser. So what is the system browser? We don't have it up right now. Let us go to our view. We're already in view. And over here to the far right up top, you'll see user interface. Click on there and you can get to some other dialog boxes like our project browsers open and we have properties open. Let's click on system browser right here. And it opens up another dialog box. It docks it to the right side of your screen by default. And if you expand it open a bit more, you can see that it has a number of columns for spaces, loads, and voltage. But it shows up top, you can have system zones or analytical systems, so we'll keep it on systems. And I already have it on electrical, but you could have it on all disciplines. The mechanical and plumbing engineers use the mechanical and piping. So we will put it onto electrical. So we have here pretty much two different systems, unassigned, things that are not connected yet, and things that are connected are electricals. We have 23 systems. Each circuit, you might say, is a system. Let us start expanding this out to see what it is. These are all power connections. We have two top sources. It starts at the top and works its way down. This information here can help you with your one-line diagram to make sure it is depicted the same as you have things connected in your model or vice versa. If you need to derive a one-line diagram, you can use this browser to help see what you have. So for example, my generator, I have a circuit one, and this is going downstream if you think of power flow. And circuit one ends up being over here on the right. Let's expand this back out. Now remember, switchboards use a single number for a three-pole circuit or even a two-pole circuit. So don't confuse that with a panel board, which has single pole circuits. So you would have multiple circuits on a feed. So this is circuit one of the generator is actually, the load name is the ATS. So it shows you the information just as if I was to click on that system or that circuit within the model. So expand it further and it shows again ATS. You click on ATS, here's the properties of that ATS. Click on that further we have one circuit assigned on the ATS, and it is assigned to panel E. And furthermore, panel E is here, and we have circuits on it. You can see we run out of room, go up here, and this button here will autofill all the columns. So it will start to expand, and let's expand this browser. I have to play with the arrows. So circuit E has a couple circuits assigned, circuit one, is the receptacle and generator room circuit three it's another receptacle and generator room so as you can see all of this circuit information is compiled into this one spreadsheet type display so it's very handy rather than having to go through all of the panel schedules which I, which i could do but it's all nicely tabulated here in a descending order through your system so you can see what all is connected here and even this has devices. Look at this. This is actually a receptacle. So every single device is shown in this browser. Go down to the main distribution board. We have circuits one through seven connected. Circuit one is panel 1A. And furthermore, as you can see how that works. So we can expand these out. Now circuit four doesn't have a little plus under it to tell you what it is, but if you look to the right, it shows it's ATS. If you recall, our ATS does have two sources, two electrical connectors on it. So this is one, and, and for some reason Revit doesn't expand upon the second connection as much as it does in the first connection. Like up here under generator, 
ATS and it shows all the detail. Well, it does not repeat that. So just remember that, that sometimes things don't show a second time. But over here, you can see that it is connected. Another thing this thing does for us is it helps us find these pieces. So let's say we want to click on the ATS and where is it in our model? Well, luckily we have the first floor power plant open and you can see the blue highlight of the ATS on the plan. So we can find any of our devices and any of our equipment by clicking on this. I can even find what, where that receptacle is and there happens to be a lit blue. So this is very handy too, especially in a more complex project where you're trying to find where a certain panel is. And even on other floors, this works. Let me go to my meter center here, meter center one. And it has, let's expand this further. It has a number of load centers. Well, if I want to try to find those load centers in my model, let me click on this one. Now it's highlighting it, but it I can't see it here. So I can right click on load center and say show. It says there's no open views that shows any of the highlighted elements. And then it says searching through the closed views to find a good one could take a long time. Let's try it anyway. Now it found a view. Close. And expand this out and you will see that it opened the second floor power plan and highlighted this single load center connection LC1 bed in this area for us. So we found it. So it's a handy way to find connections that you may have not remembered where they are. So back to the ATS, let us find it. There it is. It jumped back down to the first floor power plan. So this helps us identify where things are and how they are connected. You can see the order, the topology, if you will, of the electrical distribution system to make sure things are connected the way you expect it. We could go into the plan and we can click on panel 1a and over here find out that it's connected if we go up to the top electrical circuits click on there it shows you here that it's connected to the mdb circuit one and what are some other circuits there's a number of circuits over here so not just the browser but even up top we can find out some interesting things about panel 1a so other circuits are the circuits within 1a itself so they're downstream circuits so this system selector does not tell you if it's an upstream connection or a downstream connection, which is unfortunate. It also doesn't list the panel in here. It's over here. But you can use this to help find things. And what I found helpful up here, too, is when you do have a double-circuited connection. So let's go to our site plan. And remember, another two-circuited item is our EV charging point click on that guy and it actually starts to show up here as well and it highlights it so it goes both ways it highlights it in the project browser as well as in the plan view so here's the EV charging station and it is connected to both 7 9 and 1113 with a double connection also up top electrical circuits we can see the circuits system selector there's a number of circuits that it's connected to so one of the connectors is connected to 7 9 on 1a and the other connector is connected to 1a 1113 so a lot of helpful information here between the project browser and the top electrical circuits panel up top to help you sort things out. And of course, you can use this to see your unassigned items and see that we have a lot of circuiting to do. It even has lights on here as well as power connections. So as you can see, it's a great list of items in your model. Now, it still shows generator MDB because they still have unconnected circuits within them. So I could connect more items to the generator. I could connect more items to the MDB. So it's listed as unassigned. So as you can see, the system browser electrical tab is very powerful, very helpful in tracking down your electrical distribution system. If you got something out of this, I'd appreciate a like. Thank you. And until next time.